Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon. On my channel, I discuss manifesting as a lifestyle, every area of your life. You are the designer, the architect of your life, and you are writing the story of your life. I am the only manifestation coach you need because you have success with my processes. I am your favorite manifesting coach because you have success. I want to remind you that you already imagine the wish fulfilled. You imagine the wish fulfilled, therefore it's done. You can imagine the wish fulfilled with affirmations. So you speak to yourself as if you already have your desire. The present moment is the only moment that exists. This present moment is the only moment that exists. So in order for you to manifest your desire, you only need to speak to yourself consistently that you have your desire. You remind yourself it's done. You remind yourself that you already have it because you are the cause, the world's the effect. You are the operant power. I wanted to read a little um, paragraph, just a paragraph of Neville Goddard from Your Faith is Your Fortune. This is chapter nine, The Foundation Stone. And Neville said, stop trying to change the world since it is only a mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory. Neville is reminding us that your consciousness is what is creating your reality. Your consciousness is more real. Your imagination, your consciousness is your awareness, your imagination, the sum total of what you know and think and believe, right? And that is pushed out into the world. So if you want to change something in the world, you don't change it outside of you. You go within your imagination because the world is a mirror reflecting what is within your imagination. You, you change your concept of self. You align the concept that you hold of yourself to the version of you who has your desire. If you want to know what that version of you would be thinking, then ask yourself, what would I be thinking if I had my desire right now? What would I be saying? What would I be saying? What would I be thinking? And there's where you make the change. You change the outer reality with your inner thoughts about reality. You affirm the version of you who already has your desire. And remember, the present moment is only the, the only moment that is existing. So affirm as if you already have your desire. I have the relationship. I'm in the relationship. I am already loved. I am already admired. I am already wanted. I am already desired. I already have the money. I already have my debt paid off. I already have the, the mortgage paid till the end of the year. I get paid for existing. Remember, your thoughts and your beliefs are manifesting. So use affirmations to change your beliefs and to speak from a reality that is easy. Well, I'm teaching easy reality, right? Life is easy. It's not hard. If you think it's hard, then you'll be creating that reality. The mirror of the world will reflect that you believe that you know your life is hard. Things are hard, work is hard. It's a reflection of what's within you. So when you want to change those kind of situations in any circumstance, go within. You just declare it. You just keep affirming it. You're going to affirm it no matter what you see. Yesterday I talked about the circumstances do not matter. And the reason that the circumstances do not matter is because you're operating your life and everything's coming from you. 
The circumstance has no power over you. You are the operant power and you have the ability to take conscious control and guide and direct your life the way you want things to go. You guys are powerful. So live in the wish fulfilled. So let's go ahead and answer some questions. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. We have a lot of people joining. I'll answer your questions about any manifestation. Remember, circumstances don't matter, but at the same time, don't be afraid of talking about it, right? You don't have to be afraid of what you're thinking. You want to know, I want you to know that you have the power to change anything. So if you are talking about the circumstance, your intention and the intention behind it is that you're talking about the circumstance to understand on a deep level how to align with your ideal reality, okay? That you're able to transcend and overcome that circumstance. Simone, I want to pick an inner conversation to loop, but I feel like I want a lot and I don't know how to encompass it. All right, so you want to encompass many things. Then think from the end of like even the affirmation, I'm living my dream life. That would encompass all of it. If you're if you're telling your family and friends if you're in a reality where you're living your dream life, doesn't that apply to many areas of your life? That will apply to those all those areas that you're discussing right now. So the inner conversation, it really simply could be an affirmation. I love that I'm living my dream life. I'm loving my life. I love that I'm in my dream life. I love that everything's always working out in my favor. I always get everything I want. Anj, want laser eye surgery and doctor rejected first time, but have second appointment. Best tips to manifest. Imagine what it the the end result result. Go into the wish fulfilled. So your eye surgery, what what is the result? Is it better vision? Then start affirming, I love that I can see. I have crystal clear vision. It's like Superman laser targeted, right? So what do you want to affirm? Affirm as if you already have the desire is um, fulfilled, right? You affirm as if the desire is fulfilled. Go to the very end. And the very end is that you're seeing exactly the way you want to see. I've improved my eyesight just by affirming it. I would say I see crystal clear and I could, could I could see the numbers on the homes when I'm driving, right? Like if I'm passing homes and I want to be able to see the address. So just by affirming, you can do this. The best way to build your self-concept. Lily, uh, I have a self-concept course that is a blueprint for you to develop the version of you who wants, um, not who wants, but who's already with your desire. To shift into the version of you who has your desire. So you build, think about self-concept as the version of you who has your desire. You build your self-concept with affirmations. It's the only thing you need to do by affirming and speaking to yourself as if you already have it. Karuna, you're so helpful. I appreciate all your words and instructions. You're welcome. Bring your success stories. Sh uh, come here and share your successes because successes are powerful. Every time someone sees a success, they feel more confident and they can identify with that success, deciding that, that they too will have success. Hi, Nana. If so many people were against you, do you really have the power to overcome something? Yes, you do. You do. Uh, every You have to t start telling a different story in your mind, right? So many people were against you. You want to speak from the end. Speak from the end. Okay, so paint the picture. If you have the situation with, with the people, you know, that were against you, if you have a situation that's working in your favor, exact, if you could literally wave a magic wand and now paint that picture for yourself, what does that look like? And that's what you want to affirm. Okay. Affirm from the end of having your desire. They will. Okay, so, so they're going to reflect it because the world's a mirror. Your mirror, your world is a mirror of you. Your world is a mirror of you and everything in your world is a reflection of what's within you. In your perspective of reality, everything is reflecting you. 
Okay, so look through the lens of yourself, knowing that you're the operant power. I'm not the operant power in your reality. I'm the operant power in my reality. You're in your own reality. Okay, so you're in your own layer of reality. You're in your own bubble of reality. Now, whatever you want, speak to yourself as if you already have it. And you're going to pay attention to what people are saying in the world because as you affirm something, pay attention because people will reflect it back to you. They will speak it back to you. They will say something similar back to you or your exact words. Hi, Gigi. When affirming, is it okay to say going to or will? You know, I mean, I some people say no. If I decide I'm going to the store right now, I will say I'm going to the store. I'm literally manifesting going to the store and I go to the store. I get in my car and I go. I just want to point out, it's not that it's necessarily wrong. What I want to teach you is to live from the end of already having it. Like, learn how to speak to yourself. Learn that you are the cause and the world's the effect. Okay, the world is the effect. The world is the mirror. You're the causation in your world. You're defining everything in your world. We define our own world. Your beliefs are defining your world. I personally pr prefer to say, I have this. I like to claim it. I like to claim it. I like to build up my confidence. I like to build up my knowing that I'm the operant power. But sure, I mean, every once in a while, I might say, hey, I'm going to go do that. Especially a lot of times when I travel, I'm like, oh, I'm going there. Maybe I don't need to go there right now, but it's I just I'm making a mental note. I'm going there. And then it all unfolds. I got rid of the third party and a new one popped up. I don't know what to do. He even deleted his dating profile and I'm losing hope. Do you see that when we don't do the inner work, that if you're not working on the vision of you that's feeling number one, that's feeling a priority, that's feeling a prize, feeling a prize in relation to this specific person, it's you're, you haven't broken that a belief within you. And that's why it's showing up again. So first of all, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Because it is a reflection. Remember, this is a mirror. Life is a mirror from within you. Spend more time focused on you. Like literally bring your attention to your own life and now start putting your attention on your own world. Put all your attention in your own world, not in a selfish way, but you're just bringing your attention to yourself. You're perce like, perceive your own life in your own world as valuable and important and start to describe what that is to be part of your world. You're going, when you put your attention on you, you are going to magnetize everyone showing up. You put the attention on you and you will bring things into your life. Whether it be a specific person, job opportunities, all sorts of things. So stop focusing on what he did and he deleted and you're putting him on a pedestal still even talking about him and what's going on in his life. Take your focus back to you and focus on your life and speak your life into existence. Because what we speak, you're speaking um, your world into existence already. You're already doing this. You're, you're, you're creating all this. Whether you're speaking it or you're thinking it, right? Or having assumptions or underlying assumptions, unconscious assumptions. So bring your attention back to yourself and focus on yourself and start speaking as if you already have your desire. Start knowing that you're number one. Start knowing that you are irresistible. Start knowing that you have love and you are chosen and you are feeling desired and wanted. I mean, you just have to bring that attention to yourself and the world will be a mirror saying, here you go. The, the world's impersonal. So you're not looking outside for that. You're creating from within by affirming it or visualizing it. Or if you like to script, script it. All those little details are not even important. You, why are you wasting your valuable thoughts on saying he even deleted, deleted the profile? 
Because what is your assumption about that? He even deleted his dating profile because he found someone who's great. I mean, stop it. Just stop it. That doesn't work in your favor. You're creating your own reality. What if you're getting to the point where you hate SP? I would drop the interaction and I would spend all time building yourself up. Building yourself up self up, seeing yourself as as being chosen as the ideal partner. Not, okay, so why are you hating SP? What's going on, right? What's going on? Is it because a million reasons, right? Because um, they're not doing what you want. Um, but then you're focused on the story that they're not doing what you want. Is it because you feel like you got to get taken advantage of? Well, you're creating that. In order for them to change, you have to change. You play, you place your boundaries. You decide that you're not allowing someone in your life unless they treat you as a priority and number one. Here's a reminder. The, the, every, all these circumstances, <laughs> we're going to talk. All these circumstances that, that come up in our lives. Instead of putting your attention on the holographic image, which this world is a holographic image, instead of putting your attention there, bring your attention within and ask yourself, what is it that I want? And then speak, and then you speak to yourself as if you have it. I want to be re like, let's, I'm just going to give examples. Like, I want to be respected. I want to be a priority. So then that, then you speak to yourself as if you already have it. I am a priority. The, so you can, then you could get a little deeper if you want. You don't have to, but I personally like to get a little deeper. Well, how do I feel like a priority? Then I could treat myself like a priority. <laughs> priority. I could imagine how I'm treated as a priority. And remember, if my imagination creates, which it does, if your imagination creates, what are you imagining? Are you imagining that he's a jerk? Because that will just stay in your life. Or are you imagining what you do want? Okay, so that's where the disciplined mind comes because you have to remember you're the operant power. Everything's um, coming from you. You are reflecting on the world, what's within you. So you don't change the outer mirror, you change from within. I mean, if, if, they're, if you can't stand them or you're starting to hate them, then like just... Why not move? Why are you wasting your time? This is like your life to live. What What do you want to be doing in the present moment? Thinking about how you hate him or move on with your life? That's There's infinite options. Okay, so make a decision and live from the end. You need to change and change the old story. SP is your mirror reflecting you. See, we know exactly what's going on here. Yeah, when you know you are the best, there is no competition. Yeah, what you focus on multiplies. That's a great reminder. What you focus on multiplies. Do you want to multiply them outside of you or do you want to multiply the vision you hold of yourself? Self-concept techniques. Uh, I really love a mirror technique. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, you are success. Go to the end of success. You're success in every area of your life. You're su successful at manifesting your desires. You are success. So you're just going to, you're going to look at yourself and say, you are success. You are incredible. You are amazing. You were born for greatness. You are valuable. You are worthy. You already have all your desires. You deserve everything you want. Like speak to yourself like you would want to be like that feels good. My kids are definitely lucky because they have had this for the for most of their lives, right? Um, the vision of the infinite, unlimited possibilities. Okay, so not that they're lucky. We're all lucky. I feel lucky that I woke up to realize that I am the operant power. And do you understand? Life is actually more simple than we even knew it to be. It's simple. Okay, so... I intend it's easy, but it is simple. What the simple thing you need to do is speak as if you already have your desire. That's why it's simple. It's that easy. That is the elixir of life. That is the master key. Speaking to yourself as if you have your desire. And remind yourself, everything is yourself pushed out. Everything is a reflection of you. It's, it's a mirror. So you're not going to change the mirror out there. You go within. 
If everything is a mirror outside of you, think of the golden rule. Because if, if you're one with everything, what is your perception about different people, places, and things? If you have more questions, join my VIP group. I have a monthly subscription mastermind group. If you want to be with a community, build yourself up, build up your self-concept, stabilize your self-concept so nothing is going to waver. Nothing's going to make you waver. You're not going to be wondering and you're going to stand firm and grounded and sure and knowing and that's what my community does and if you want to do the work on your own I have my self-concept course and you can manifest any desire with my self-concept course thinking from the version of you who has your desire and you will have success I guarantee you will have success because you know how to do this and you know how to stay disciplined and you know how to manifest your desires I love you all have an amazing day I'll see you next time you guys are powerful. I love you. Bye.